Okay, so with the update to Keynote and iPad OS 14, I've been having to think about some of the features and how it can be used creatively in the classroom. And this one is going to look at how you can introduce kind of commands and sequences using Keynote to help students understand processes and putting things in the correct order. So let's jump into Keynote and take a look. I've made a really, really simple one here just about making a cup of tea, something which can be easily replicated, um, something that you know most students should be aware of, you know, if they see their parents doing it or, or some students may do it themselves. And all I've basically done is use the outline view of Keynote, the new view that you can do in the iPad OS 14 update. And I've just added in the steps and then just mixed them up. And then the idea here would be that I share this with the students for them to then be able to, one, put them in the correct order, and two, then build the sequence using the Keynote deck to make it personal to them. They could add in their own pictures, their own drawings, etc. So just to go through some of the basics here, um, the first thing to do is to think about the order. So the first thing you might want to do is put the kettle on. So I can drag that and I can place that at the top. So it's going to give me the sequence. It's going to say number one, number two, number three, number four. So the first thing is to, to add all of that. So um, I've put the water in the kettle. I'm then going to turn the kettle on. I'm then going to add a tea bag. Oh, no, I'm going to get a mug. This is the contentious thing, right? Some people might make tea slightly different to other people. Uh, so I'm going to get the mug. I'm going to... Um, don't try to think now where, where the rest of my things are. Um, add the tea bag. You get the idea. Uh, pour in hot water. I feel like I'm testing myself now. Um, th this is the contentious bit, right? So some people might add the milk whilst the tea bag's still in it. Other people might remove the tea bag and then add the milk. I'm, I'll leave that open to people to argue um, in the comments section below. What I've also then done is you can see on some of them there's a, a picture element here. This is this is where you kind of then take it to the next level. So students kind of personalizing this, thinking about the process. When you create each one, and I'll go through the process in a second, it gives you the title. So as you write here, it transfers over here. If I don't want that as the slide though, I can simply just tap on the slide itself, tap on the paintbrush, and it gives you the slide selector. So you can choose what style you want. It could just be that you want a blank one. Uh, you just have the title and then do some drawing, etc. So in this case, I might say that I'm going to choose this as the master for that slide, and it just moves the text to a different place on the screen. In this one here, I've said get a mug. So again, for the students, what I might want them to do is, because there's now a picture there, they can tap on the picture and then they can go to choose a photo or video. In this case, I've already taken a photo earlier um, of a mug, so I can just drag that, and it's just gonna add that directly in. So I'm, I'm designing whilst I'm kind of still thinking over here. Again, um, it might be that it's the, the add tea bag. So I'm gonna tap on the paintbrush, um, I'm gonna choose this style, and then tap on the picture, and then it's gonna open up my, uh, my camera roll. Oops. Tap off this, tap on here to choose the picture, uh, and then choose the picture that I want, and then it's added that picture in. Okay, so again, you can see how, how the process works. Once I'm done, you know, with some of those pictures, and it could be that I've, I've borrowed pictures off the internet or taken those pictures live, some of them I might want to do a little bit more on. So I can just simply tap on the view here, go to slide view. Here's my presentation kind of already, at, you know, as you, you're used to seeing it. And you know what, in this first one, I might actually want to draw a picture instead. So um, in a very quick kind of uh, way, I'm gonna draw a kettle. This is a terrible looking kettle already. Never do live drawings when you're doing a video. Um, you get the idea there, okay? So I'll just put a little bit of uh, shade into it, etc. This is This is awful. <laughs> I can only apologize. There we go. You get the idea, right? So the first picture might be uh, put the kettle on and I've drawn the first picture. So that's it. It's it's about uh, commands and sequences. It's about using the outline feature, students still being creative with what they build over here. Um, they get to reorder the things over here um, and then create a presentation that they can, can give back to someone else. So just another take on how to embed something like computational thinking, in this case, commands and sequences, 
into everyday activities. You can imagine children doing this remotely around their house. It could be tying a shoelace, putting a coat on, you know, um, getting ready in the morning for school, all sorts of things that you could do. So have a go. We'd love to hear your thoughts. Please leave some comments in the comments section below and enjoy using Keynote.